This is the media um, about Trump coming back to the White House. Roll that. President Trump wrote on Twitter, don't be afraid of COVID, don't let it dominate your life. Almost 210,000 Americans are dead. Speaking of outrageous, uh, this outrageous tweet. Oh my goodness, Nicole, when I saw that Trump, I mean, I, I literally was overwhelmed. And now we see this tweet, which is heartless. It is uh, cruel. Jake, this is this is so disrespectful. I'm not even sure I can I can speak <laughs> about this. It's incredibly uh, incredibly disrespectful. What does that mean? Don't be afraid of it. I mean, first of all, it, it it's, it's a contagious disease that kills people. It, th th there's nowhere to even begin. It's gross. It's such a distressing moment. It's just so horrible, so so destructive mm. to say I feel better than I have in 20 years. That he's saying this is so disrespectful. The president says it's no big deal. Uh, I mean, it's outrageous. It is insulting. Uh, to the people who have lost loved ones. It is insulting to every American who wears a mask. I mean, it's disgraceful, Wolf. It's absurd. Don't tell your supporters, don't be afraid of COVID. Everyone should be afraid of COVID. It's okay to be afraid of COVID, and it's okay that, that it's dominating uh. your life because it has dominated your life. Uh. Are you kidding me? It's absurd. So a uh, hat tip there to Grabian who put that put that cut together. Ugh. Um, Are you kidding? So that's that's the that's the reaction over the president saying, "Don't let it you know ruin your life. Make <laughs> decisions like an adult." Try so to what have happened some... after 9/11? Don't let the terrorists win. Go out and live your life. Ooh, yeah. Was, yeah. Bomb, buildings falling down around us. 